Hey everyone, welcome to this month's episode of What's New in Turbo 360. Today, we'll be having a look at the set of new features that we've rolled out into the product. So let's jump right in and look at what's new. Firstly, we'll talk about the feature that's a game changer for MSPs, the cost upliftment feature. This feature allows you to seamlessly apply a percentage markups to cover any management fees or additional service costs for your clients. For instance, if your client's share bill is $10,000, you can configure a 2% uplift so that it shows $10,200 in the report, reflecting the uplifted amount transparently. This feature is designed to simplify invoicing for MSPs using Turbo 360s as clients see the uplifted amounts directly in the report. It ensures that your services are accounted for, eliminates any manual calculations, and streamlines the billing process. All you have to do is select the uplift percentage in the CA module, add the buffer, like whether it's 20 or 30 percentage, hit apply, and just like that, you have got the uplifted costs in the portal. The next feature is all about sustainability. Cloud cost and sustainability doesn't always go hand in hand, right? But what if we tell you there's a way to optimize both? And that is where our new carbon impact optimization feature comes in. This new feature helps you reduce your environmental carbon footprint by optimizing your cloud resources. For this, move into the optimization section and click on right sizing. Turbo 360 will analyze your current setup and provide you with suggestions to reduce energy consumption. Whether it's adjusting resource sizes or automating resources to run only when needed, this feature helps you do it all. So it's a win-win. Cut down waste, save energy, and align with your sustainability goals all while optimizing your cloud costs. Moving on to the next feature, we have introduced the other recommendations section to take your optimizations even further. This new feature supports a range of recommendations for various Azure resource types to identify whether it's left unused or orphaned. Unlike usual recommendations, like identifying the unused disk in a subscription or deallocated virtual missions, these recommendations cover many past services like App Service, Logic App, Service Bus, etc. Simply click on the Other Recommendations tab under Optimization to access this feature. And to make it even easier, you can trigger notifications to keep the right people in the loop with optimization updates. Now, let's talk about the monthly budget thresholds. We all know how important it is to keep our cloud spending in check, and this feature helps you just do that. With the monthly budget threshold, you can set limits for your Azure budgets and get notified when you're approaching or exceeding them. It is super simple to set up. Just click on the monitoring section, head to manage in group budget or in the general monitoring section and enable monitoring. From there, you can define your alert conditions like setting thresholds at 100%, 90%, or 80%. You will receive alerts whenever these thresholds are hit, keeping you on top of your Azure spending. And the best part, you can set it up for multiple thresholds as well. How cool is that? Just click Apply and you're good to go. Moving on to the business application modules, we have introduced automated tasks with advanced scheduling to help you save time and effort. With this new feature, you can set up specific time for tasks like resizing resources and shutting them down whenever you need it. To set up this feature, click on Automated Task and select New Configuration. From there, choose Manage Operation, Configuration and define your task name and resource type. If you enable scheduling, you'll notice a cool update. Previously, you could only schedule tasks by the hour, but now you can define intervals as short as 5 minutes, 10 minutes, or whatever suits your needs. It's all about giving you the flexibility to automate tasks exactly when you want. Now, let's move on to the next feature, Day-Level Escalation Duration. This feature is super helpful when there's an error in your resource, like a turned-off virtual machine. You can set up checks of these errors over a defined time interval. So here, once when the issue is detected, you will receive an email notification. And if you don't acknowledge the issue within the set time, then the issue escalates to the next person in charge. Previously, the escalation duration was only set to 60 minutes, but now you can extend it up to 3 days. To set this up, simply go to the Escalation Policies in the Monitoring section. Select Add Escalation Policy, choose your notification channel and time and hit Save. 
It ensures that errors are promptly addressed, minimizing any delays in resolution. And the next feature is the configurable batch size and polling time for purging in the BAM module. If you're handling large data sets, then this feature helps you set your own batch size and polling intervals. That helps you to get full control over how and when the data is purged for better efficiency. In the BAM configuration section, go to the storage details and select the purge batch size. Previously, the default was 2000, but now you can configure it to your own custom size. So now let's talk about transforming exceptions into user-friendly messages. So with this new features, instead of dealing with complex error codes, you can now get clear, easy to understand messages that helps you identify and fix issues even simpler. For this, go to the BAM settings, select custom exceptions and click create. Whenever an exception occurs in Azure, you can choose the type, value, and add a custom note. The error message will then be displayed here, making it easier to understand and address. Now, moving on to the general updates, with the new service principle update in the portal, we have streamlined subscription management across all the modules. So now, whenever a new subscription is added, it will automatically get reflected in the portal without any manual efforts. To set it up, go to the service principle, select the details and apply the access policy across all new and existing subscriptions. Then click configure rule, set the subscription criteria and hit save. And that's a wrap for this month's updates. I hope you found these resources handy and will make your experience with Turbo 360 even smoother. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out using the link in the description. This is Shrutvika signing off for now. Don't forget to subscribe to Turbo360 for more updates.